Hello, in this lecture we are going to look at CVS. It's a file management system for tracking your files with changes over time. And it's called a source code management system, SCM for short. And there are many SCM systems. CVS is the most commonly used for many years till JIT came along. And there's the, the, the version called Perforce which is used by big companies like Google. And Mercurial which is another version which was there but now is still around for public domain code. SVN was, SVN was similar to CVS and there's still AG and Fossil going around but a new one is JIT. We're going to talk about JIT in the next lecture but first let's cover CVS because CVS manages files individually. You can copy files around on your Windows machine and still track them. So what is tracking files? First thing you need is a repository. So you have, you're working with files, text files on your computer and then you keep a backup in the repository of all the files that are in the version control. And the, the repository has a concept of a head. Head means the current timestamp of the file. And it keeps all the changes that you made over time. Say every time you make a change in a file, then you need to check in your changes. So the repository CVS will keep all the changes you made and the date and why you made the changes. And everybody can anybody who has access to a repository can have a copy of your files and your changes and that's called a head. Head is a current version of the file and you can also have branches that means suppose you're working in a file and then you make changes to change but only for some people and other people want some other change so you can make two branches and that branch will be and then you can copy between branches so we'll see all that later on so the main operations in, you can do with a CVS are checkout so your repository access to a repository, you check out the, the files from the, from the repository to your local directory and you make changes. Then you check in back the changes into the computer, the repository. So check in is also called commit. You basically commit the changes. And before you commit you may also want to review the changes. You send it on the diff of the what you change uh, compared to the repository to someone else and they will point out the uh, comments and then after you make a corrections then you can commit it and then there's a concept of diff you can have many versions of file one two three four over time and then you can diff different versions see what change was made when and why and sometimes you may have conflicts conflicts means you try to check out a file and it has a changes which are incompatible with the changes that you made that means that file has two different versions which are on the same line there are two different changes so the CVS doesn't know which version is the right one and you have to manually go and edit and pick one other version and that's called resolving the conflict and sometimes you merge you have two different branches and you take uh, changes from one branch and merge it to another branch or take merge from one set of files to another set of files and, and, the and then if you have new files you add them to the repository and on, there's a concept called stash which is from JIT which basically means suppose you're making changes but then suddenly you want to work on the main project you can stash. Stash means you keep it aside in the desk or wherever and uh, and you can keep your files aside till you're ready to work on it. So CVS doesn't have the concept of stash it's in JIT but uh, you could just save your files in a folder and then put it back there and suppose you make changes that you don't want later on you can revert your file to the head or any version and if you don't need to track the file anymore you can remove the file and uh, again the, the concept is push and pull so push is you push your changes to the repository or from one repository to another repository and pull is you get the changes from the repository so in this case uh, you could be having multiple people using one repository and each one is pulling the changes making changes and pushing it back or it could be one person having a single repository on a local machine and use it alone and you push and pull your changes just to keep track your files over the years. Also, you could have multiple repositories. You can push changes from one repository to another repository. So all those are possible and we'll just see the most common uses and the commands. So CVS is obsolete but it's generally useful for single user and it is useful to maintain backups of text files and CVS tracks every line that change on every file and when it changed. So then you can go back and see over type of history of the file. It works on Windows and Unix. It's free. How do you install it? You, can, you get it with SIGWIN or you install WinCVS or Tortoise CVS. And the first thing you need to point out a repository root, the repository. So you can say part to the CVS root. 
and a sewage route environment variable actually needs a username and server name and a folder name then you export the the cvs root and you can use the cvs command to look for it there are many different ways of doing this and especially on windows and sigwin where the folder names are named differently from windows so you need to look up the local help to find out so and then let's create a new repository you say cvs minus directory this folder c colon reverse repo in it that means create a new repository with this folder in this folder then you export the variable cvs root equal to this uh, cvs root so that all the programs that you call from now on will know where the cvs root is and you go to your source directory in your home directory source and then you say cvs import source and then your name and you begin and this is just a tag just a name to it and then once you import it your source goes into the repository then you can delete the copy or you can move it out then you check out the source code back from the repository to the source directory so it will get a new copy now so from the repository now your code matches the repository and your entries in your cvs uh, folder will tell you which version you checked out you're probably in the head right now because you checked out the first time now how do you use it so you edit a file now you have files in the repository you edit a file then you do a cvs diff it will tell you what you change then you can do a status to see like whether it will say modified and then once you want to put your changes back into the repository you say cvs commit and then m is a comment uh, comment is like my fixes and then it and this file name so this file or files will go back into the repository and then later on suppose you have another sandbox in which you want to find out what has changed repository get it from repository it's a cvs update you get all the changes from other people in the repository then sometimes if you are, if you make changes and some other people have made changes you'll get conflicts and then if you do cvs changes it will say c next to your file name that means conflict and you edit the file and manually pick the changes that are correct you merge then you commit the your changes back into the repository and then uh, if you add new file you just cvs add cvs remove uh, and, and cvs doesn't really remove the file it actually just keeps it away in a attic so you can actually resurrect the file if you really need the file again so that's useful sometimes to have a copy of the file not just remove it and then you commit new files and then you can also do a log on a file to see all the file history and then you want to see who, what lines change so cvs annotate file will show you the file with every line telling you which version it came from and you can do a cvs diff of this current file with the version number 1.1 so cvs numbers the file 1.1 1.2 1.3 then it branching will take a different uh, numbers okay so you can do any you can just see if minus r 1.1 1 minus r 1.4 and file name it will show you different windows to files other thing is instead of having numbers you can also put a tag on it saying that version 1 and on source so so this this current version gets a tag version 1 and then you can also put a branch name on the tag so cvs tag minus branch but well, branching is a uh, pretty heavy duty in cvs so we'll use a uh, branching only with git later on and then uh, if you're really confused by the commands you can just download something called win cvs it is a graphical ui for windows it shows you all your folders and files and shows you what state it is red blue and green and you can right click and uh, edit, edit and merge and stuff like that and you can see the cvs commands at the bottom panel or you can use something called trotter is cvs and it, it integrates into windows explorer menus and then you can right click on the menu and then you get all this so this is a file manager and we should right click and then you go into uh, cvs and then say cvs diff update commit and cvs commands are here all these commands are there so you can you don't actually learn any cvs command you can just use it from explorer and there's also git tata is git and tata is svn we do similarly work with git commands or svn commands okay so now you know how to use cvs and probably you should use it to keep a backup of all your files on your local machine whether it's windows or linux and the references are basically just look on google for cvs intro and also look at git which will come under the next chapter